This is not an art museum. It's a store selling eyewear and an effortless cool in our era of social media aesthetics. There's robots, there's mashups of cultural references, and there's lots and lots of glasses. Avant-garde, classic, boundary pushing. This is Gentle Monster, the buzzy fashion brand from South Korea that's won the hearts of bespectacled celebrities and influencers alike. And it's the brainchild of Hangul Kim, who started the company in 2011. You pour so much investment into your retail storefronts. You know, and for a long time, people have been predicting the end of brick and mortar retail stores because of the rise of e-commerce. So why make that investment? Actually, I'm a very strategic dreamer. So it's it's conflict word, dreamer and strategy. But actually, I combine, try to combine this together because I'm CEO. At the Gentle Monster flagship store in Seoul's Gangnam District, I meet two of the company's space and robot designers to see that strategic dream firsthand, an aesthetic that they like to call weird beauty. Walking through your store here, I feel like I'm walking through a story. The theme is undecember. What does that mean? Gentle Monster has more than 20 flagship stores globally, and we originally planned to create each store differently in terms of its concept and main theme. One idea we had was, what if the moon tilts a little and leads to the creation of a 13th month? That idea got us thinking, if there's a 13th month, how would it affect the environment and all human beings? How would we live? How do you want a potential customer to feel when they walk into one of your stores and they see your space design and your robotics design? The robots we create have a lot more artistic aspects to it compared to ordinary robots. Hence, we would like our customers to feel surprised and mesmerized by these robots. First impression is very important. If we show that they did robotic things, kinetic things, then people automatically feel that, oh, this company, this brand is different in a good way. Gentle Monster is up against the likes of Luxottica, an Italian conglomerate that owns Ray-Ban and various designer eyewear brands. But it's this intersection between art, commerce, and design that Kim says can set his brand apart, motivating the designers like Shin Jong-in to create newer, bolder innovations. These are wild. I love these. Both in the retail space and in the products themselves, which retails starting at around 200 US dollars. How would you describe the Gentle Monster aesthetic? Our brand, unlike other brands, spends a lot of time on world building. For example, we ask, what's the next version of eyewear? Or what message can it send to the world? Mars. A message that the company hopes to amplify through its collaborations with K-pop stars like Blackpink's Jennie, fashion brands like Fendi, and technology giant Huawei. What is it like to design in collaboration with another brand? For a designer, collaboration is a fascinating project. It allows us to diversely express ourselves beyond our usual brand limitation. We can find synergy so that when it goes to market, it can create an explosive response. You've been quoted in the press talking about potential IPO, uh, right? Yeah, to be able yeah. to create enough wealth for your employees, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so your millennial employees mm -hmm. would be able to afford a home yeah. in Seoul. Yeah. That's it, a pretty big is. dream. Yeah, it is. It's a dream that reflects the story of South Korea in the past half century, a story of reinvention. After the Korean War, the country experienced rapid economic growth and reconstruction, transforming from a developing war-torn nation to one of the biggest and most high-tech economies in Asia. Thank you for helping me, Julie. Bye.
So whether it's by promoting creativity. How does this work? <laughs> investing in new ideas. Just pushes me along. It's an amazing feeling. Or mastering an industry. A refrigerator that can play music. Innovation takes many forms here.